Welcome to Film Crux, I'm Lion Elaton. Today we're going to give you 15 free transitions for Adobe Premiere Pro and we're going to show you how to use them. So the first thing you're going to need to do is download these. So to do that, you're just going to go to filmcrux.com and then you're going to click on free stuff and then free Film Crux Transitions Volume 2. Then there'll be a space to enter your email address, submit it, and then it'll download them to your computer. Once they're downloaded, all you're going to do is open up Adobe Premiere Pro. And then if you go over here to Effects, you go up to where it says Presets. You can actually right click on Presets, click Import Presets, and then find wherever you saved it. You can save it anywhere you like. Select Film Crux Transitions Volume 2, press Open, and it'll import them. And once you import them, you never have to import them again. And that's it. Now once you have these imported, these are really easy to use. You can just click on the drop down for presets and you'll see them down here as Film Crux Transitions Volume 2. If we click that drop down, next to each effect you'll see a recommendation. It's a guideline for where you want your adjustment layers to be. And then you can tweak them from there. So just for example, we have some clips in our timeline. We'll play those back. And if we want to add a transition between these two clips, we can just go in here under Film Crux Transitions Volume 2 and we'll use this one, Seamless Clockwise In Out. Now it says start seven frames before cut. So all you do is you go between your clips, you go to exactly where the cut is, and then you're just gonna press the left arrow key seven times to move over seven frames. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make a new adjustment layer. So you right click in your bin, you go to new item and adjustment layer, press okay, and then just drop this right at that point, seven frames before your clip starts. Then you just take that transition and drop it right under the adjustment layer. That's it. Now if we play this back, it looks great. So now I'm going to show you how to use a different transition. So we have some new clips in our timeline, we'll play those back. So to add a transition, we're going to do the same thing as last time. We're just going to drop an adjustment layer over our clips, go to Effects, under Film Crux Transitions Volume 2. This time we'll use Seamless Zoom Out. And for this one, the guideline is a little different. It says seven frames before cut, then drag to start of the first clip. So for this, we're just gonna go to our cut, and then we're gonna just press the left arrow key seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and shorten our adjustment layer to that. Then we're just gonna drag and drop the transition onto the adjustment layer, and then it says drag to start of first clip. So we're just gonna extend the adjustment layer so that it begins at the beginning of the first clip. And that's it. Play it back. And that looks great. Okay, now I'm gonna show you one last example. We have two more clips in here, let's play them. So what we're gonna do is the same thing as last time. If you have an adjustment layer already created, you can use that. If you don't have one created, you can just click on new item adjustment layer, press OK, drag it on your timeline, then under Effects and Presets, Film Crux Transitions Volume 2, this time we're going to use Seamless In Out. So this one's a little different than the last two. It says 7 frames before cut, then expand to cover both clips. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the cut between these clips, same thing, we're going to press the left arrow key 7 times, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We're going to shorten the adjustment layer to start at that point, drop our transition on, and then we're going to extend the adjustment layer so that it covers both clips. We'll play it back. And it's beautiful. So these don't have to be used as is. You can also make any adjustments you want. So if you go down here and look at the effect, right here, transforms being affected. If we click the drop down, you can see the keyframes in here, and you could adjust the keyframes to say make it longer. Play that back. And it increases the length of the transition just like that. So if you like this video, the music's from Octave Volume 1. You can check that out on filmcrux.com. Make sure you go download these transitions, they're free. And if you like this and you want to get more free stuff in the future, subscribe, 
make sure you click the notification bell and check out this next video we recommend on the channel.